exactly is Parkinson's disease? It is a neurological illness that affects the brain. In the brain, we have structure called as basal ganglia and the nerve cells of this basal ganglia secretes something called as dopamine, which is a neurotransmitter. So when there is a deficiency in this dopamine due to the degradation of these cells, this results in Parkinson's disease. 6.2 million people are living with Parkinson's disease. So although we know that it is uh, an age-related disease and found mostly in people above 60 years, it doesn't mean the younger people may not be affected. However, the percentage is below 10% of the total number of people living with Parkinson's disease. This may be attributable to longevity, that is the lifespan of people is increasing due to the early diagnosis and better medical facilities. Hence, in an aging population, the prevalence increases. Environmental factors do play a role. With the advent of industrialization, the byproducts like chemical solvents, heavy metals, and in addition to that, the pesticides that are used in agriculture are also hypothesized to cause Parkinson's disease. Genetic factors also play a role in Parkinson's disease. So the signs and symptoms of Parkinson's disease may be categorized as motor and non-motor. Under the motor, the important signs and symptoms being bradykinesia or slowness, where the patient becomes slow in his activities of daily living, rigidity or muscle stiffness, and tremor or shaking of one of the hands. So initially when the slowness starts, patient starts having difficulty in taking turns. That is, they take a longer time to take the first step. In the advanced diseases, they have freezing of gait. They take a few steps, they stop, and they start having difficulty in proceeding to the next step. They feel that their legs are stuck to the floor and they lose uh, their posture leading to falls. Much before the uh, start of motor symptoms, patient may have reduced sensation of smell, what we call as hyposmia. They may have constipation, giddiness on standing up, postprandial bloating sensation in the stomach, even erectile dysfunction. They may have sleep dysfunction. Uh, Parkinson's disease patients also have a reduced attention and concentration. This may progress that they might have memory problems in the later stages, which may even progress to hallucinations. Uh, in addition to all of this, more than 50% of the patients will have a lot of anxiety as well as depression. So identification of this and addressing this is very important. So with respect to food, it is advised that Parkinson's disease patients may have a lot of colored fruits which has a lot of vitamin A as well as vitamin C. Exposure to sunlight improves the overall well-being as it increases the vitamin D levels. Also in the lifestyle modification, exercise plays a very important role. It improves the overall well-being, it improves the muscle strength in a patient and this may even help to reduce the amount of drugs that a patient consumes. A diagnosis of Parkinson's disease can be life-changing. They can lead a comfortable life. With an early diagnosis and with the right team of doctors, this transition will be made much easier.